Yes, fellow Blues, it's Chelsea 6, Middlesbrough 1, aggregate 6-2. We've now progressed to the Caraba Cup of final. So we'll be waiting between Liverpool and Fulham to know who we're playing at Wembley. Meanwhile, it's an opportunity for we, for we to win uh, one trophy at the end of the season. Remember, three days' time, we'll be playing Aston Villa for the FA Cup fifth round. But it's one game at a time. But for today, we've won Middlesbrough 6-1. We're able to turn our one-goal deficit. So if you're a Chelsea fan coming across this video, please do well to share this video, like this video, drop your match reaction below so that we can also read from you. I'm Alex here on Chelsea headquarters. We will give you the latest Chelsea news and more. All right, guys, it's Chelsea 6, Middlesbrough 1. Before today's match, a lot of persons were saying uh, Middlesbrough are going to beat Chelsea, eliminate Chelsea and all that. But after today's game, I guess some persons out there, rival fan, will be saying, because we managed to beat Middlesbrough, that is why we are celebrating as if we won the Champions League final. But you agree with me as a Chelsea fan that this match was a very core cool match and the display we saw today is belong we last saw this kind of display from Chelsea players. Like, the boys were ready to uh, take advantage of every chances. Before today's game, I earlier said in my previous view that if Chelsea, we have to progress to the Carabao Cup final, ensure that they are able to come out victorious today they need to take chances right from the first minute because the first leg against Middlesbrough, not that we, we played bad, but probably that day was not just Kopama's day because we had a couple of chances to have uh, uh, put so many goals past Middlesbrough, but we, we could not take our chances. Probably it was just an off day for Kopama. So coming today, we expect Chelsea to do uh, to do the needful, beating Middlesbrough, putting them here, uh, placing them where they belong. Of which the Chelsea boys did not fail to do so. This continue a good run of form as far as Stamford Bridge is concerned. This is the seventh game on a row, which we've been winning at uh, this season. Meanwhile, this is the 26th game against sorry, 27th game against Middlesbrough that uh, played in Stamford Bridge and will be able to come out victorious. So it's a good one for uh, Chelsea and we, the Chelsea fan. Then going over to Middlesbrough supporter, I want to say kudos to uh, you guys. Despite this go down. You guys were still supporting your team. Like you could see the atmosphere at Stamford Bridge. The crowd were still behind their team. That's a good one for the Middlesbrough supporters. Then going over to Pochettino's lineup, we see Ben Chiwe returning to starting a lineup after being out for quite some time, though making a second half sub against Fulham. But starting today at the left back position, we can really tell that form is temporary, class is permanent. So with Ben Chiwe, we could see that we've really missed the England international in terms of the left-back role and making those run, those sharp run, run into opposition box. It's a good one, a very good attacking threat. So we really miss Ben Chiwe. We hope he continues to stay fit till the end of the season and see how far we can charge for a top four a finish, probably winning the Carabao Cup final and also uh, we lifting the FA Cup. It will be a success for our team. Then going back to the goalkeeping position, Petrovic uh, did well. But unfortunately, conceding a late goal, which would have given him a clean sheet. Then our backline was solid. Thiago Silva never aging. Then De Sassi was fantastic today, giving an assist and also getting a goal. That's a good one from the French international. Then Levy Kowi was also fantastic today. Enzo Fernandez scoring today. Casado was uh, brilliant. Then going over to Ryan Sterling, it was brilliant today, getting a goal to his team and also an assist. Only Mikhailo Mujic was a little bit shaky in the first half, losing position to opposition player, though he was replaced after for the five minutes. Then for our uh, attacking midfield position, that is Kopama, it was really, really cold today. Uh, scoring two goals, shaking off his poor performance against Middlesbrough in the first leg. So that's a good one for our uh, highest goal scorer for the season so far. So we hope Kopama continue to uh, deliver and continue to get the support of the fans. While for Armando Broya, it was superb today, at least getting the first goal, putting Chelsea ahead and also giving us that confidence that we'll be able to, we'll be able to overturn the deficit, the one goal deficit, drawing us level 1-1 at aggregate. Then before further goals from De Sassi, uh, also Enzo Fernandez and making it six goals to one. So fellow Blues and lovers of Chelsea, we look forward to our next game against Aston Villa. We hope to continue to take the season uh, one game at a time, just play every game as it comes to see how far we can uh, progress against Aston Villa to the next round of the FA Cup and also 31st of January will be taking Liverpool. 
But for now, it's one game at a time. Thank you, fellow Blues and lovers of Chelsea, for always joining me. I remember Alex. Please do well to share this video, like this video, and also leave a comment below. Bye for now.